Hey guys, this is Sophia King from Interdops and HackingSAP.com with another video about SAP Analytics Cloud. And this time I want to show you a small scenario in the new model in SAC where we work with multiple currencies. So my goal here is to have a planning model where you can enter your values based on your local currency and then the model should recalculate those values into a target currency. So let's say you have a department in the United States and also one in the Netherlands. Well, then in the United States, you would enter the values in the US dollars, while here in Holland, we would use the Euro. And the model should then help us to bring that into um, a single currency. So before we go into this model creation, where we we will use a new model. Um, we will have to set up a currency conversion table. So let's create a new one. And in this currency conversion table, I can determine yeah, what the currency rates uh, should be. So what we can do here is we can enter a source currency and a target currency. So let's say we have the Euro and we have US dollar that we want to work with here. And we can also enter a validity. So this um, conversion should be valid from a certain date onwards. So let's choose January 1st of 2021. And also, of course, we need the exchange rate. So let's put this on 1.1 as an example. And we can also add multiple of these. So let's also add some conversion that will be active from uh, January next year. Something like this. And let's say it, it changed then to 1.5. So in addition, we can also do some more detailed um, conversions here um, but for now let's let's keep it simple uh, like this here let's save this and go back to the model creation so I'm gonna create a simple planning model Uh, what I want to do is I want to have a dimension that determines which currency should be used for the data entry and display. So let's call this location and add it to the model. And what's important here on the right, you have to enable this, um, this, this check mark on enable currency. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you won't have a column here in the in the, in the details of this dimension where you can enter the currency that should be used. So let's say, for example, I have here the Netherlands as a value. And there I want to use the Euro, but I also have the US United States, which uses the US dollar. Okay, let's go back to this one here. So we also need a measure. So let's call that uh, amount local, for example. Let's make it two decimals. And we can also make this a currency and determine here how this currency should be um, filled. Well, in this case, we are using from dimension. So that means that my location dimension is now determining the unit and the currency um, that I want to use here. So, ah, I got an error in the in the location, and it's probably because I have an empty value. Yeah, so I have an empty unassigned value. So let's make the euro the default currency. Let's try to save it once more. Okay, now it works. Let's call this model cur uh, one.
All right. So let's now see what we can do with this in a simple story. So I'm gonna just create a simple canvas story based on the model I just built. And because we don't have any data in this model yet, this is all empty. But we can work around that by checking the unbooked data option. So here we have the dimension values that we just created here in the location dimension. I also need the date in the columns. So let's do the same with that. Unbooked data. Okay, and we have to select our measure, amount local. So there we go. So what I now can do, for example, is I can uh, enter my, my values in here. And let's also do that for the United States. And now you see that the value for Holland, for the Netherlands, is recognized as Euro, while United States is a US dollar. All right, so that, that's all nice. But um, I now want to have an additional measure here in this overview, which has only a single currency. So it's either a euro or dollar. So let's go back to the model. So now we first have to enable the currency conversion in the model. So I'm going to the model preferences and we have to step currency and you can enable this. And here we can also select the currency rates table that we just created. Now we can go to calculations and we also get a tab called conversion measures here. So here we can add, for example, amount USD. And in the conversion, we can then set up that our amount local is our source and we want to have a target um, US dollar in here. Let's save this. Okay, let's go to the story and see what happens in there. So let's first save the story. this and let's quickly refresh it so I'm now adding the new measure that we just created amount US dollar And um, we now see that the conversion takes place. So my 1,000 euros is now being converted in 1,100 US dollars. And of course, for the dollars, it remains the same. So if you remember, we also had a different um, currency rate for data uh, that was entered for 2022 and further into the future. So let's see what happens if I enter a value in here. So for the dollar, it will remain the same, of course. But for the euro row, you see it's now using the 1.5 rate that we entered in the, in the conversion table. Uh, so if we go back to our currency conversion, And you see that in my data for 2022, this rate is being used. While in the other column, eh, so the data for 2021, it's an exchange rate of 1.1. So in the model, we can also enable uh, a prompt 
a variable to determine what the target currency should be. So that's also here in the model preferences in the currency tab. At the end it says currency variable settings. Here we can create a currency variable. Um, well, let's make the default indeed uh, no conversion. Let's save this. Okay. And now let's create another conversion measure where we use this variable. So let's call this amount target. Again, we are using the amount local as input. And instead of fixed, we're now using the from variable. Let's save this again. Let's go back to the story. Also, let's save this and to be sure. Let's just refresh it. Oh, there we already have the currency variable. So I'll, I'll put it to Euro. Of course, we have to add the measure in the table as well. So there we are. And as you can see, it's now doing the conversion from dollars into euros. And what's nice with this variable, you can add it as a story filter like this. So you can easily switch between the target currencies. There we go. So that, that's really a quick walkthrough uh, on, on, on currencies in uh, the new SEC model. I hope it was helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.